up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B. And today, I got a specialty. A treat that people didn't know you could cook on a smoker. Come here, I'm not even going to tell you until I open this top right here. Y'all know y'all seen this top before. What is this? I'm going to give you three seconds to tell me what it is. All right, all right. These are collard greens. One more time, look at it. Collard greens and ham hock is in there. Ham hock. All right. Putting it on the smoker today, y'all. Show y'all how to do this. All right. This right here, I'm going to show you my certain fat, what this part of my smoker does. Normally, you see my videos. You see the big body, my three racks, and what I cook inside there. As you can see, it's going now. I ain't going to show y'all that secret. Watch my other video to see what that is. But today, I'm going to show you what this warmer box does, all right? It's a warmer box, but guess what? Come around here. show you what the temp is on my warmer box. I just opened it up, so my temp is rising right now. It's at about 200 degrees. In about 10 minutes, maybe even less, depending on how hard I pump this wood in here, it'll be about, I don't know, 225. That's about as high as I want it to go, right, for cooking these greens today. So we're going to go ahead and do is open this up. Hey, if you order a certain fabrication smoker, I'm going to give you a tip. All right? This is perfect. I already took out one of my racks. I want to let lead off my hook, hook or heat out. But like I said, if, you, uh, if you're looking, you ain't cooking, right? Slide this in there, sit this in there. Keep in mind, if you put a pot in here, normally I use aluminum, aluminum pans. But uh, for today, I'm treating it as if I'm cooking in the, in the house. But keep this in mind, y'all. If you use a pot in, in your smoker, there's a chance that it will never go in your stove again. Reason being is when you pump smoke into it, let me close this up. When you pump smoke into it, smoke sticks to these pots, man. And it's hard to get off. Unless you're a, a beast in the kitchen with scrubbing something, it is hell trying to get that smoke off of that. So the recommendation is do not use a pot that's a black pot. So it's not, you know, the smoke ain't gonna be really seen. It's all good, right? Plus, hopefully my wife give it to me and then I can give y'all more shows with more food on it. But anyway, we'll see what happens uh later on tonight when I get yelled at for the kitchen looking crazy. But anyway, uh my tip for Shirley Fab, these smoke or any smoker with a smoker box on. You see these racks? When I pull this out, have them put you rails in there. So that if I want to take my rack that's right here out and move it up a little bit because I'm trying to put something on there, it's beneficial. So for me, I have to pull my entire rack out, right? But I got three racks, so it doesn't matter. My dressing, which I'll show you in about, oh, uh, what time is it? In about 25 minutes, and it's going to go on top so it works perfectly. And that'll be in my aluminum foil. So I have the room. But in my smoker, I'm going to go ahead and close this. In my smoker... I had to take my middle rack out because I didn't, I didn't get the uh, the adjustments as in additional rails. So I'm doing something else in there, which is causing me to have to take the, the middle rack out just so I can sit my meat on the bottom and still use the top while I'm cooking. So if I had had an adjustment, I could have took my middle rack out and put it up some, or took it out and put it down some. So I'm thinking about taking it back to certain fab them just because I want some more things put on here. But I think I might make that an addition in there. Just put me two more rails on here on each side, in between, so that I can adjust without having to uh, take the rails off. I might even have them put something down here where if I do take a rail out, or uh, uh, rack out, I can stick it up under there and it'll sit. So those are things I've learned that I should have done with this, using it for multiple events um, that I should have done. But I'm gonna remedy here shortly. So Shirley Fab, you watching this? You coming, I'm coming. Getting some more money, because y'all do a good, damn good job. So, you seeing this, be on the lookout, Tyler, for a phone call from me, right? And you already know what else I want that I didn't get put on my other one. Obviously, you see on the other side, let me show you this real quick. I didn't get my spare tire, right? My wife gave me a $5,000 limit, and I, 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 I exceeded that a little bit. So, I'm going back to get my spare tire, because I don't want to be on the road and have a flat tire and then I'm stuck. Anyway, coming to get that, uh, coming to get two racks mounted. And I ain't gonna tell you what else I'm getting. It's just gonna be a surprise for y'all. But anyway, 
these greens, normally they, they take about 30 to 45 minutes when you're cooking them inside the house or whatnot. But today, I'm going to do them for about an hour 15 at 200 degrees, maybe an hour and 30, depending on the texture of them. But I'll come back once I get them to the point. Actually, I'll come back uh, in about an hour and stir it up, see what it looks like, see how the greens look, give you guys a view of it, and I'll give you a final view after uh, I take it out. All right? We'll be back here shortly. What's up, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's Mr. B. And guess what? We doing this dressing. And I'm for this. You see all this stuff right here? Mm-hmm. I eat that right now. That's cornbread. Looks like I want a grab piece, but I know the white piece. I ain't going to have that. But anyway, got some, uh, what is it? Celery. Celery chopped up. And green peppers. And green peppers mixed together. Look like onions. That's onions. See, look at that. I'm on point. Can't tell you what this is, or I'll get a whooping, right? It's the secret ingredient, right? So pick your own can with a, just do the, do do your own, uh, I ain't telling you. Don't tell them what the secret is. Can't give them everything. Anyway, so we got some, uh, ground sage, uh, got some poultry seasoning. Keep in mind, I ain't selling any folk product. Oh, my bad. I ain't selling any folk product, but uh, you can get this in any brand. Chicken broth. We're going to mix all this stuff up, right? Let's do it. Man, I'm going to taste that cornbread. Anyway, all right. Crumble up this cornbread. You're going to use the whole thing? The whole thing of cornbread, right? Hey, you know you old if you got one of these kind of pots at the house. Pan, whatever it is. Crumble them. Crumble it up. That dressing, yes sir, and it's going on the grill. Tell me who got skills like that. First of all, who got skills like that to make cornbread that you can eat and then crumble it up and then put it on the grill? Nobody but your boy, Mr. B and his sidekick. Yo, we don't mess around. I can cook anything on the grill. Can't cook it in the kitchen, though. That's another thing, right? Which is crazy. Right, with smoking, I know I won't shut my mouth, but Anyway, in the kitchen, you still need the same amount of patience. You see the chicken broth, right? You gonna use the whole thing? Okay. It's up to you, basically. Up to you. Y'all heard it from the queen. Up to you on how much you put in there. All right? But anyway, right, I got all the patience in the world when it comes to getting out there on that grill and got my little timers and all that to remind me how to check the food. But when it comes to the kitchen... I'm banned from the kitchen, man. Man, I'm banned. What well, that is? She used the whole thing. You trying to trick people on YouTube? <laughs> hey, man, this is my video, man. It's gotta be a one quality. Anyway, get your stir on. Get your stir on. Anyway, yeah, man, mix it up. Um, then I'm assuming that's what you're gonna do with the rest of this stuff. And then we're gonna. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I just thought it was going to the aluminum pan. So, uh, watch and learn, just like me. I got a feeling next time I'll be doing this. I don't like that. Anyway, yeah, man. The secret can. The wrong can. Why did we do that? The wrong can, man. What's going on, man? It's like the same can to me. Uh, I don't know what she got going on. She ain't, she ain't want nobody to see the secretness in there. We got you. We got you. Anyway, y'all watch it, right? So this is what you do out there, fellas. You trying to figure out what this is? Just go buy every can in the, in the store, and I guarantee you you're going to find it at, at, at some point. Yeah, cans don't cost that much. Just go buy every can you see in the store that got the yellow texture to it, and then you'll figure out what it is. But I ain't going to tell you. I don't want no problems. Anyway. A can of look like something else, look like pudding, but anyway, yeah, man. All right, and mix it, mix it, and then mix it some more. Yep, it's that dressing, y'all. It better taste good, too. But now, nah. hey, this is a secret recipe, y'all. Y'all ain't even supposed to see this. Y'all just supposed to see this. 
after it's done. Got an egg, just one? Mm -hmm. Just one egg. Got it? The whole thing. I don't even eat eggs, but I eat dressing. How that work? Anyway, get your mix home. Mix all this other stuff up in now. And then you just put this in a, in a lunar thing. And then cover it up. That's it. Man, anybody can do this. If you know the secret ingredient. But anyway, like I said, uh, we're going to sit here and watch. Watch the woman do the mixing. You gonna put all that in there? Okay. Okay. Yep. Man, the grill master learned some kitchen skills, huh? Yeah, man. Like I said about this kitchen, man. I be messing up, man. I be turning this thing on high. We try to hear me get up out this kitchen, man. I don't know what it is about that. Some men can cook in the kitchen. I don't know. I got my own thoughts about that. But anyway, uh. Yeah, man. I be trying to get in and out. I can cook chicken and all that good type stuff. And it tastes good to me. But somehow, everybody else say it don't taste good. Like, why she mixing them tea? Let's do it real quick. I grew up on ground beef and macaroni. Mixed together with some ketchup on it. Call that hamburger helper. Guess what? This family here don't like that. It got to be hamburger helper on the box. I'm going to trick them one day. I'm going to buy a box of hamburger help and then just mix it up the same way and tell them that's what it is. And see if they still eat it. Oh, but back to the video. My bad. Yeah, man. That's it. Everything mixed together. You got some sage in there and all that good type stuff. There you have it, y'all. I'll be back in a minute with it in an aluminum pan. Uh, Yeah, we're going to put a cover over it. You know, just so we don't get no smoke in, uh, in, in the dressing. Hmm, I wonder what it tastes like. Anyway, and then, uh, I'll be back in a minute, y'all. Holla! Yes, sir, we back, y'all. Like I said, got my dressing right here. About to throw it in my smoker in the warmer box for about two hours. Normally, you cook this in the kitchen, my wife say, um, on about 360 for an hour. So, you do the math, uh, 180, 180 degrees for two hours is equivalent, right? So my my smoker, or uh, the warmer box usually stays around 200. Matter of fact, let's see what it says right now. Uh, it's about 215 right now. So a little bit less than two hours, all right? So I'm gonna wrap this up because I don't want no smoke to get in the dressing. And then we're gonna move them down, all right? This up nice and tight. It's gonna go in there with them green. I'm gonna be in it the wait, y'all. Yep. Mess around, man. You better cook a whole meal on the grill, man. Not even messing up the kitchen. Remember what I told y'all, right? See, I move my, my uh, middle grate so my pot fits there, and this slides right on top. Perfect. Bam. Easy day. Easy day. Right? Like I said, if you have any questions, hit your boy up. I can answer pretty much anything. If I can't, I got people on my team that will, right? Because we done backyard barbecue. All right, we'll be back once the product is done. The greens, as well as the dressing. I'm going to show you what they look like for Dito, and then you can go from there, fellas. Let me know if you try it. Tell me how it works out for you. If it came out good, or if I need to tweak some stuff, just so y'all can see other stuff that I do, behind the scenes or whatever. But either way, it's all about smoking, baby. Smoke on. Barbecue land. Yo, everybody. All right, we're back. It's about that time for me to check these greens. See what they look like. Give y'all a sneak peek. Normally I don't do this, but uh, give y'all a sneak peek. Um, what we got going on? Got my famous stirrer around here. So put my little safety glass uh, uh, gloves on. Right? I ain't trying to get burnt for no dog on body. Ah! Alright. Well, anyway. We'll come back and get another one. 
take this out. I'll do this real quick. Y'all see them greens? Yeah, boy. Yep. So we're gonna do. Got to do it creative, right? That ain't gonna work. Have to get a spoon. All right. Take these gloves off. Get a spoon real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Hit go in there real quick, wash my spoon off, whatnot, because it looks like I need to stir these greens just a tad. Mm-hmm. Boy, they smell good. All right, put this on the hook. Back in there because I got dressing cooking to it at the same time. Once again, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know who came up with that, but it's creative. Bam! Got a little bit longer. Pull all these out. And to finish, let y'all see the final product, and we'll go from there. We'll be back. And we're back, YouTube. Alright, so. Last thing I need to do is show y'all this wonderful product before I take it in the house. Um, like I said, I got greens out here. That's right, you heard the greens and dressing. So I ended up having to take the top off the dressing just because I wanted the crust to get, you know, um, the form on there, on the top. Plus I uh, throttled my smoke up to about 300 and something degrees just, to, just so I can get it that way. Um, but... Here goes nothing. Oh man. Hold on. That's a surprise for it right there. Showing these fantastic greens right here. Look at that smoke coming off of them. I'm about to tear these things up. Yep. That's the green. I'm going to leave it open now because I'm about to take it off. And, dang. That came out better than I thought. You see it? Let me see. It slide down a little bit. I'm gonna drop this boy. I had to ask some questions before I drop this thing here. Yes, sir. Dressing. Yeah. Hit me up if you think you do better than that. I don't think I ever seen nobody cook dressing on there. I just figured that out today. But anything's possible. Like I said, thank everybody for their support. It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like my videos, subscribe, hype me up so I can make more videos. I'm gonna do it either way. But please subscribe, like my videos, um, give me your comments, questions, the whole nine. I answer any and all of them because I ain't doing nothing after I get off work but this. So hit me up, like I said. All right, got any questions? Comment below and I'll get back to you. Allah.